Your natural hair is a lifestyle and it's a part of a journey, a spiritual journey and a physical journey. They call me Miss D504. As a young black woman in society with natural hair, it's not easy to maintain, but I want to show the world how liberating it is. The advantages of being a natural black woman is embracing your culture, showing and spreading your love. I learned how to take care and how to love myself, as well as how to advise others to do the same. Nobody knows you better than you. I love hair. I love taking care of myself. I love seeing other people take care of themselves. So why not broadcast that? Hi, you guys. You wanna say hi? Hello. So, I don't know what week this is anymore, but let me turn the camera this way so you guys can see me better. Um, we have a quiz for theory. It's chapter five, I believe. Your girl is ready. It's gonna be a quick intro because I'm already in the building. It's freezing outside and I have to make a payment when I get in there. So thank you guys for tuning in. And if this is your first time watching, thank you guys for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And it's really, really cold outside. Like really, 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 really cold. So I will catch you guys later on. All right? Peace. Okay, you guys, what a heck of a day. Um, I'm closing out the first day of the second weekend of theory. And you guys, when I tell you theory is like so draining, theory is so draining because it's, it's literally only book work. I apologize if the first like intro clip was so quick it was freezing cold outside so there was no way absolutely no way i was going to be able to record while i was walking so um and i ran into one of my classmates samantha who you guys saw and she actually wanted to end up talking so like i could tell so i kind of cut the video short as well and um yeah so we did we took our quiz 20 questions your girl got at 85 at this point i'm just like i still want to get nothing but a's on my test but i'm not gonna kill myself over it um this week we were doing we were literally in the middle of renovating our living room and our dining room we were doing renovations on the house on the entire house pretty much but right now we're doing the living room and the dining room so um that was taking place throughout the week so i was limited on being in the house so i studied as much as i could um it was definitely a distraction but nonetheless i still passed which i'm excited about and i know the ones that i got wrong and i'll be able to remember that for the future test for the state test um what else can i tell you guys we finished um, i told you guys that we had the test on chapter five that was incorrect we had the test on, we had the test on chapter one which was on um the history of aesthetics and career opportunities what can you what you can do within the esthetician field like how you can grow the opportunities that you have and um we finished chapter five um inspect infection control and you guys, that chapter is going to be so tedious to study because it has so many terms and so many terms that are similar, like sterilizing, um, disinfecting, cleaning, sanitizing, those type of words. So it's like you have to kind of pinpoint out something in particular from a word to make sure that you can have it within your memory bank in order to recognize it for the test. Um, I'm not going to lie. Your girl is not like in theory. Like... I understand the concept of it, of us having to actually learn the the sanitation, the science behind aesthetics and behind skin and the body. I definitely do get that. But I believe that the school can update the curriculum to mixing and joining practical with theory, just so it will not be as tedious so strenuous on your mind and just flows a lot easier i feel like if they combined practical with theory like 
within the weekend. One day will be practical. One day will be the book work. Um, it definitely will make a difference and it will be a good balance because, you know, everyone gets tired of doing facials consistently throughout the weekend. Everyone gets tired of doing book work back to back. Combine the two, it will be perfect bliss. It's a good combination. So I definitely, definitely, definitely feel like that should be something that they should update within their curriculum because the fact of the matter of just doing solely one and then solely the other is just ridiculous it's really mind bottling because sitting there for a whole hour and a half of doing book work it was ridiculous you guys like don't take this me venting as a review of the school it's not like i said i will save all of my pros and cons and reviews of the school once i am completely finished and once i graduate um but we were sitting there for pretty much an hour doing 15 pages front and back and things i feel like yes you have to get your hours in but if it could just be a little bit more productive i would be able to appreciate and value being in that classroom a little bit more if you guys understand what i'm saying like i don't want to feel like i'm doing something in the classroom that i can literally be doing in my house and be more comfortable like, you know what I mean? Like, I could literally be reading these chapters and doing book work in my house. And we can be reviewing it when we come into class. It could be something that would be a little bit more, like I said, productive. But that's me venting. That's me just expressing on how I feel like Christine Valmy's theory classes can be a whole lot more beneficial to their students. And a whole lot more beneficial as a whole. Because not only was it, like annoying for the students today but the teacher she was annoyed when she was going over the answers with us because of course once we do our book work and we answer the questions within the um within the workbook she has to go over them to make sure that they're right and you as i told you we just switched the books anyways so she probably doesn't really have a feel on just the sections for the book work anyways so um when she came back and she started to go over the review with us um she was like, oh my gosh, she was like, this is so many pages. This is so long. I'm just going to say the answers so it can go by quicker. Because at first she was going to have us answer the questions so that we can just kind of like talk it out. But since it was 15 pages, she knew it was going to be taking too long. And it was already like four o'clock. And to put the icing on the cake, I know it seems like I'm complaining so much today, you guys, but it was really tedious today with this book work. Like it was to the point where it was just like, we're sitting here for no reason at this point like we could literally be going home so she um it was snowing today so we had a snowstorm it kind of like died down but you know the weird thing about being in the city is the snow never really sticks so it's like rather you would see this the snow sticking more on the outskirts of the city so if you're in a beer if you're in a borough like Brooklyn or if you're in New Jersey outside of New York the snow is definitely going to be sticking as compared to Manhattan um so she told us that once it started snowing we were going to be going home it started snowing did we go home no and then shortly after that the snow stopped in the city but by the time I got home you know how Jersey looked nasty it was so slushy outside the snow it, it was still snowing by the time I got home like had to clean the car all of that like it was <laughs> it was ridiculous you guys I was kind of just annoyed and um it's a lot of snow out here by my house in Jersey and I was just I was just annoyed and then I'm gonna stop venting I'm gonna stop being mean I'm gonna stop being nasty but um long story short you guys I really hope that theory becomes something that's like enjoyable for the entire class because as of right now like I said it's very tedious it's so tedious we're literally reading just out of the chapter and doing book work and she gives us our breaks but honestly you guys it's 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 really it's really mind-blowing because it's like at the same time there's only so much information that your mind can take and we're sitting down for the whole eight hours just listening to you read and then right after listening to you read we're doing book work like that's just i feel like there has to be a better way there has to be a better way so tomorrow we will be starting a new chapter 
that will be going towards our test of next week. We'll be having the chapter five text next week as well. And um, she said it was going to be 30 questions. We'll be doing a review for that tomorrow. And yeah, I definitely wish tomorrow was a film day. So I wouldn't have to deal with this aggravating weather because the temperature is going to drop tonight. And I know it's going to be like black ice everywhere tomorrow. So that's going to be annoying. Um, but I'm going to start try and stay positive, you guys. Try and stay positive. And just continue to push through because, like I said, this is only the second weekend of um, theory. So that means I have 10 more weeks left to go. So, um, yeah. I will keep you guys posted and see you tomorrow. Okay, peace. Good morning, you guys. This is day two of my second weekend with theory. And the girl is tired. I mean, it's not as cold as it was yesterday, obviously. It's not snowing. So those are two positive things. Hopefully today goes by fast. We're gonna be reading a new chapter and yeah, chapters and book work. So hopefully we can make today fun and be a little bit more productive than what yesterday was because I always, I already vented to you guys about how yesterday was and how I felt about yesterday. So no reason to go down that path again, but yeah, you guys. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I wish there was like more fun updates that I could give you guys for theory. Sorry if it's a little windy. But yeah, I wish there was more like fun updates I can give you guys for theory, but theory is just book work. I can just tell you guys the chapters we're going over, how I feel about the chapters, um and that's pretty much it so i know the chapter that we finished yesterday infection control chapter five i definitely know i'm gonna have to study starting tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week daily just so i can make sure everything sticks because it's a lot of material and yeah you guys that's that's really it book work book work book work nothing too crazy or nothing too fun so i will catch you guys later all right peace what's going on you guys i'm closing out the end of weekend two for theory day two today was so much better than the first day than yesterday um it was a lot shorter the things that we had to do so that's why it was better but it just it um the conversations that we actually that actually took place today were way more productive we were able to be more interactive um because i think the material that we learned today it was more so just like common sense and it kind of just led to different conversations and questions about the esthetician field in general and about owning your own spa the process of like um of owning your own spa or, or creating your own spa or being a traveling esthetician which i thought was very cool because that's something that i would want to do i would want to be a traveling esthetician having a mobile business so um especially before building i think that's like essential to building your clientele up so um i enjoyed today's class uh, we did do a lot of book work and we did book work probably for like two hours but you know it was it wasn't as tedious as what it was yesterday because we were more productive in our conversations and we were actually able to just be more proactive in our conversations and discussions so that definitely was helpful that was definitely helpful um so yeah you guys today was a pretty easy going day this week i'm going to be studying an hour every day so um, Monday through Friday because I have a test on Saturday and that test is going to be huge because it has a lot of terms that is on infection control chapter five so um if you guys are interested in knowing how I study definitely leave a comment below and I will um make a video one day this week and show you guys if you guys are even interested but that's pretty much it for this weekend um it was a very chill day today very laid back which is what we needed because of how rigorous and tiring yesterday was 
So I appreciated it. I definitely did. And um, I will get back with you guys next weekend. Okay. So if you guys have any questions or concerns about Christine Valmy, the esthetician school, or about my esthetician journey, or just about just the esthetician field in general, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them to the best of my capabilities and I will see you guys next week. Okay. Peace.